Hey everybody. Today we're going to test out a alcohol breathalyzer. A digital meter to read how much alcohol is on your breath. Okay, this is what we got here. Alright. That's what we're going to be testing. Now, my first test is coming soon. Okay, I haven't drank anything. Let's give this breath tester a try. Wait for it to zero out. Alright. <laughs> Nothing. Zero. Nothing. Okay. Now, I'm going to come back and re record that exact experiment after each beer. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm going to drink a beer and then I'm going to try it again. Right now it is 10 10 p.m. All right? See you in a few minutes. Probably about five. Probably don't take me too long to drink a beer. But uh, we're going to test it out after one beer. See what it does. Yeah. Then we're going to try two, three, four. And we're going to go on and on and on. Until uh, I can't go no more. Anyway, we're going to test out the breathalyzer and see how well it works. Okay, see y'all in a little bit. Ah, get out of the way, cat. Move. Alright, had one beer. I'm going to show you this thing. Still says zero. Let's try it one more time. Zero. Okay, drank one beer. It's ten twenty. It still says zero. So the breathalyzer doesn't know that I drank a beer yet. And it's probably very fresh on my breath. Um, beer number two coming right up. Okay. After two beers, It says point zero four. Okay, Let's try it one more time. Point zero three. Point zero three. Uh, three. Okay, I guess we'll go with three. But that's like, you know, put the beer down, pick up the breathalyzer. You ain't supposed to do that. I mean, that's not really how it's supposed to work. I'm supposed to wait wait a little bit before I blow, but hey, I ain't got nothing else to do. Y'all are waiting for me to test this thing, so see you next time. Oh, check this out. <laughs> Oh, what happened? Oh, last night I fell asleep after two beers. I, I had a few and I was watching a movie on uh, TV and I fell asleep. Ain't no big deal. It happens all the time. And anytime I put a movie on, it's a sure thing. It's just like a sedative to me. It's a sleeping pill. A movie, a DVD, whatever. Go to sleep. Kaboom. Just like automatic. Anyhow, I'm back today and I'm going to continue with my experiment here and test out this little old thingamajiggy. I think I'm a bobber, Bob Baba believable, whatever you want to call it. Anyhow, okay, I've uh, I've gotten back to the point to where I was before, but now I'm feeling a little bit better than last night. Uh, it just seems to be having a different effect on me for some reason. Let's go ahead and give it a try right now. I'm at two and a half. 
Okay, two and a half uh, drinks. All right, point zero four. Let's let it clear and let's try it one more time, just for test purposes to make sure it's good. All right, zero four. We'll finish this one, and we'll be right back. Okay, everybody. I'm back. I finished that one. Now let's uh, check and see what we got. Whoa. Point zero five. Wow. I don't believe it. It's really hard to believe that. Let's let's try it one more time. what it's saying. Same point zero five. It's really, it's really hard to believe that. Well, we're going we're gonna to go with point zero five because we did it twice. Well, let's try third time. Third time's a charm. But now, trust me, everybody, when I say that I just got finished drinking and then blew. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to wait like 10 minutes. So this is probably not very accurate, but we're going to try it anyway just for purposes of making a video that will entertain you. Getting worse and worse as it goes. <laughs> Point zero six. Maybe it's not so accurate. I don't know, but we're going to just give it a test and see what happens. Anyhow, at the end of this test, we're going to call the police. And we're going to tell them that there's a drunk driver out here doing donuts in the circle. And we're going to get them over here and get them to test me and see what happens. Okay, bye-bye. Um, just thought I might come back and tell you real quick that... Um, see, as it's only been like a minute since I blew a second ago. I haven't drank nothing else, but it changes because if you drink and then blow, it's very, very high. So here we go again. Just give me a second. Let it clear, and then I'll show you. Last blow was a .6. See, it's already dropped down to 0.5. Second ago, I did it with 0.4. So, it's not going to really be that accurate because I don't wait the required time. You know what I'm saying? There may still be a little alcohol in my tongue, and I'm like, hoo, hoo. and it's there, you know. So, uh, we'll be back in a minute, but this is just for fun. Anyway, ain't nothing like this ain't for court purposes or nothing. This ain't a documentary. Well, this is a documentary, but it ain't a deposition. <laughs> okay, everybody. This is number... number four. Point zero eight. Can't drive. After point zero eight, you can't drive. There you go. Four beers. Maybe five. Five or four. Hell, I don't know. Once you start drinking like that, you, it's, it's hard to keep track of how many you drank you know y'all know what I mean if you ever drank anything you know there we go consistent point eight point zero eight it's it's pretty damn consistent with uh, <laughs> the numbers here every time I drink a little more and try it again the numbers keep going up farther and farther so I would say that this device is accurate. 
Maybe maybe not accurate, but it does work. Okay. Um, now, I ain't going to suggest anybody go to doing any drinking and driving, but we all know the legal limits. Okay, and you know your limit. Please don't try to push your limits and drive. If you can't drive, if you even have any question about whether you can drive safely or not, don't do it. It's not worth it. Trust me. Trust me. It's not worth it. This is what we're testing today. You can buy these on eBay. I think it was like 12 bucks. That's where I got this off of eBay. Just for uh, kicks and giggles and shits and grins or whatever you want to call them. Go one more time. Uh, 0.7. Okay. 0.7. That's really not that big of a difference from the last time I did it. So, I would say it's pretty much uh, in tune with me. <laughs> now, I'm going to have another beer and tune it up a little better. Be back in a minute. All right, everybody, I'm back real quick. I, I decided to go ahead and end this experiment because I think I've proved that this little old device actually works. Works pretty good. Um, and it's about lunchtime. <laughs> so... I'm about to ruin my buzz. Okay, I think I'm almost four and a half, maybe five into into it. So it's 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 lunchtime, and I didn't eat no breakfast today, so I'm hungry. All right, so this is going to kill the experiment totally, 100%. Because after I eat, I ain't gonna be able to drink a bit. You know, I'm gonna be ready to take a nap. Anyhow, I hope you enjoy the test of the breathalyzer, and uh, I hope you learn from it that. I'm about a, well, maybe I shouldn't say how much I weigh, but <laughs> after five, let's, let's just say five beers, after five beers in three hours, I don't need to drive, okay? I know how to work this video camera, and I can play with my computer, and I know how to push this button and blow, but to drive would probably be a dumb thing to do. Even if I didn't wreck, I might just, you know, get pulled over for anything because, you know, the cops will pull you over for nothing these days just to look at you, just to check you, whatever, whatever. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and shut up and I'm going to get me something to eat. And uh, y'all check out the rest of my videos. Click on my name there where it says Lunatic and go to my channel and see what else I've made. I'm <laughs> going to be trying to make some pretty creative videos and entertain everybody. Anyhow, y'all have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>